New York is known for the pizza. So, with that being said, I think we need to have some five-star pizza, right? Because it only makes sense when we're in New York to find the best absolute pizza. So I asked a lot of people, I also went on Yelp, and I found the possible best pizza place in all of New York. So welcome back to a brand new episode of My Fortunate Life Choices, starring yours truly, Brandon Taylor. This is... Jake Taylor. And this is... Billy Taylor, oh, you have See? Sorry, get in there, baby. <laughs> and we are the, the Taylor, Taylor Bros. Bros. So let's get into this place. So like I said, I did ask around and I got this name a lot. Also went on Yelp and this is a five star, like literally not a single one star. One money sign. One money sign. So it's cheap, it's affordable, and it's delicious. Let's hop onto these reviews. Honestly, the best pizza I've ever had. They have so many people coming in and out and the staff are so friendly. See, that's what I like most about a restaurant is when the staff are really cool and it's just like a fun vibe and it's just like yeah, you right, really yeah. enjoy your experience. And they like welcome you in. Exactly. You know I mean? Better be ordering pizza if you're coming on the screen, you know what I'm saying? Yeah! <laughs> After seeing the reviews on Yelp, I decided to make this a second stop in a five-part Brooklyn food and drink extravaganza. It added an extra .8 miles on foot, but it was certainly worth it. The gentleman working at the counter recommended the burrata slice, and I was certainly willing. He clearly takes pride in the pizza. Every slice gets a last-minute touch-up of basil, olive oil, parmesan, and whatever topping you choose. The burrata was the perfect complement to an outstanding base. The crust was the perfect texture and flavor, a pleasant chew, but crisp enough to avoid flopping over. Great sauce and cheese as well, but the burrata took it to the next level. Cool, creamy, and rich, and it was a wonderful counterpoint. I mean, this review alone makes me want to try here. So if you have people that come and like explain this much about a piece of pizza that they had, you know that the place was good, and oh, they definitely. want to let everyone know. So that's a good sign. I've never had burrata on my pizza. Burrata is bumper. It is? Okay, yeah. well then we're gonna have to try that. Amazing pizza, such a cute little hole in the wall. Who knew so much flavor was coming out of this place? Death going back. <laughs> Honestly, just reading these reviews are getting me hungry. Uh, I mean, it, it was quick, it was simple, but I think, you know what? We should get over there and we should really try this pizza instead of just reading these reviews, shall True we? that, let's hungry. do it. We'll review it ourselves, let's go. Oh. Whoa, that was a little painful, but we're here in front of the Industry Pizzeria, which is the Industry Pizza in Italian. I'm guessing. I don't actually speak Italian, in case you're wondering. Just makes sense. Anyways, supposedly from the Yelp reviews we just read, this is the highest rated pizza in New York, and I am hungrier than ever. You guys remember in the past video, we already had the worst pizza in New York. So now it's time for a good change to get the best pizza in New York. If you haven't already picked up a brand new shirt, better be ordering pizza if you're Coming on the screen, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna film and start eating. <laughs> In a second. <laughs> so if you haven't already picked up some of the merch, it's the new food porn merch, make sure you get them. My unfortunate life choices, because you already know the vibe. Anyways, let's jump on in there and let's go try some of the best pizza in New York. So I hear this is the best pizza in town, am I right? No, we only uh, have the wrong place. And hamburgers. We're at the wrong place. Sorry, let's go. So I'm, I'm an avid Yelp reviewer. I have a, I have a series You're on, on Yelp? YouTube. Yes. Jesus. Get out. Oh, <laughs> see, I knew this was the Get wrong out. place. Darn it. I flew all the way from Los Angeles because I heard this is the best pizza. The one long flight for some pizza. That's what I'm saying. It better be some good pizza. Let's do it. All right. So, first timer. First timer. What would you suggest? You want two slices or you want one? Uh, Come Paul. on, you're a big boy. Get it, though. I'll give you two all of right. my favorites. Let's do it then. Two it is. Two it is. What do you mean I'm a big boy? What do you mean? I've been out. working out. <laughs> sure it's about one size too small. Oh, God dang it. <laughs> Get the shirt at BrandonTaylor.com though, you already know. <laughs> this is some fresh pizza right here. Get these cuts going on. Ooh. This is two slices. That's half the pizza. What do you mean? Yeah. Uh, come on, man. Not in California no more. This is, uh, this is New York. <laughs> this is so New York. Quinoa and avocado slices. <laughs> <laughs> so you're telling me this pizza is not vegan? Definitely not. <laughs> this is just my place. Prosciutto. Damn, this is fancy. I'm gonna give you our plain, and then I'm gonna give you our house slice, which is the L'Industrie, okay. which is prosciutto and burrata. How many followers are you on Yelp? Uh, I'm not on Yelp, on YouTube I have 3 million. 3 million? Yeah. So should we do this intro again with a little bit more respect? Uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> this is my respect. For the 1 million, the 2 million, and the fucking 3 million. Welcome to New York. This is respect, man. Welcome to New York. Yes, that lady on the yes. subway must really love me. <laughs> Did you bump into her? <laughs> Were you texting while walking on the platform? I just sat next to her and she was throwing up those fingers. No, I don't know. This is burrata. Oh, burrata cheese. It's like the ice cream of pizza. And onions. Looks like it. I'm gonna hit it with fresh Israeli basil. 
shower it in two year old Parmesan cheese. I'm gonna finish with beautiful Sicilian olive oil. That's $170. <laughs> I think we're in the wrong place. <laughs> no, this looks beautiful, okay. All right. Yeah, first day after. You might want another one after. All right, sounds good. Let's do this. So let's start with the plain Jane, all right? We got pizza, just basically a cheese pizza with extra cheese added on top of the Parmesan cheese. Which is how old? Two-year-old Parmesan cheese. We got dated Parmesan cheese on here, so it's going to taste absolutely amazing. The difference between this cheese and the one-star cheese is that the one-star cheese was just old. It wasn't good. It was just old. You know what I mean? That's the difference. Some cheese is better dated, and some is just not. Yeah, Their pizza was not. You store this cheese in certain environments so that it ages well, just like wine. It's better when it's aged. Let's try it. Here we go. First bite. Oh my god. You can taste the olive oil on it. It's absolutely dark. We haven't even reached the basil part yet. So the difference between this pizza and the one star is that this, this pizza has fresh ingredients. So you can really taste the freshness. That's the whole difference between a one star and a five star right here. I want to get some of this fresh basil in there so I can really experience the full New Yorker feel. So this is not just regular basil. This is fresh Israeli basil. And just look how clean it is. There's not a single brown spot on it at all. This is absolutely so fresh and it's so delicious. And you have to probably get this on the daily. You can't just get basil and just store it for forever. It starts to die, you know? You know what all these premium pizza places do that the others don't? What? Each ingredient is imported. So you got yeah. burrata cheese from Italy, extra virgin olive oil from Sicily, Israeli basil. Who knows where the palms and cheese is from? That's why they source ingredients to make the pizza the best. They don't just yeah. grab it from Costco and right. Like the other place probably just grabs some old frozen pizza. So they got the Bruce. What's the rating? It's delicious so far. I haven't tried the deluxe one yet. I'm about to. <laughs> okay, so on this we got some fresh bruschetta and we also got fresh burrata. This is gonna be outstanding. Okay, I've never I need to get a shot. Yeah, get a shot of this. This is gonna be outstanding. I've never actually had this on a pizza right now, so I'm about to indulge. Here we go. Ooh, that crunch sound is so pleasing. This is everything you'd want on a pizza and more. The flavors, it literally tastes like you're eating a pizza around the world. Shudo is thinly sliced ham, and it, it has just like a perfect amount of saltiness to it that it adds to the pizza in a way that it complements each other so well. And then the burrata is a creamy cheese. When it hits your mouth, it's almost like the texture of yogurt, but it doesn't taste like yogurt. It tastes like just extra cheese to the pizza. And if you know pizza, you know extra cheese always does the pizza good. It tastes so rich in flavor that everything honestly goes together in this flavorful blend of just different environments all in one, you know? Smallest pizza places are always the best. There's four kitchen stuff, there's four chefs inside for this little shop, do you know why? Why? Because they'll get busy as hell, and they've got each person, one kneading Doing the dough. Doing one little thing, yeah. One is cheesing and chugging the oven, the other one's preparing stuff and one serving. Ridiculous, Ridiculous. operation, but bomb. Go ahead, Jake, try this out. All right, my first initial flavor was the prosciutto. I tasted the salt, hit my tongue, and it just opened up my, my palate, my flavor palate to enjoy the rest of the pizza. Next, you taste the creamy sauce, the crunchy bread, and everything is just complements each other. You couldn't just get a normal pepperoni pizza from here. You have to get something like this to really enjoy the whole thing. I bet the cheese pizza alone is amazing, but this was so good. So I've had prosciutto in places like France, in places like even Los Angeles is just as good as it is in like France. Like it just tastes so fresh. They're definitely sourcing it from the right places. Not sure if they're getting it from Italy or if they're getting it from somewhere local, but whoever's making it knows what they're doing. It's really good. I don't know if you guys can see this. But like it literally just falls apart. And it's almost turning like clear. That's how like long it's been sitting, you know? Mm. So all in all, do you rate that this place deserves their five star? Definitely, from the one star compared to this, it's nine, oh, it's nine day. day. I think this place deserves a five star. I think that it's a cool environment, it's a cool little shop, and it's it's definitely on a nice little street. It's not sketchy at all, it's really dope, and it works out. Do you guys wanna guess how, take a guess how much the pizza's worth, the slices? How much? No, take a guess, margarita and the- Five dollars each. Three dollars for the margarita, and five dollars for the other one. Wow. Wow, so-, it's actually so cheaper than the- Cheaper pizza. than the nasty one star. Can you believe that? So like Jake said in the past video, you can tell the people who are doing it because they love what they do and the people who are doing it just for a quick buck. And I yeah. definitely feel like this guy is doing this because he loves what he does. He loves serving good pizza. You can tell how excited he was when he was explaining it that this is something that he loves to do it's rather than the other guy who just wanted to make a quick buck serving crappy old pizza. It's about yeah. the passion. You can tell the passion about right. it. Right. All right, my man. 
So we're sitting. I give you some flour. Look. Oh, like <laughs> oh, thank <laughs> you. All over, man. I really appreciate that. So I'm here with the owner of La Industry Pizzeria. Is that owner of a lot of problems, guys? Oh, a lot of problems. And headache. Talk to us about that. What's going on, man? You know, it's a lot of work. If you want to work 15 hours a day, maybe 18 sometimes, you can come. You can be the owner with me. <laughs> I think I'm gonna pass on that. I'll stick to YouTube. So tell us, how long have you been here? So I've been in New York now five years, and I own this place. Two years now. Two years, and like, hmm. what made you want to open a pizzeria? Like, do, do you love pizza? Is that what? It I is? don't even know. I was working as a server in a restaurant. In case some, I save a couple hundred bucks, yeah. you know, I'm like, okay, I need to do something now. And I get this list without experience. I never made pizza in my really? life. Really? So, like, what made you want to make pizza? Why not hamburgers? Why not? You know, I'm Italian, so we love food. I love pasta. I love pizza. You know. Yeah. And it was the best decision. So tell me, how did you like build into like a successful business where you have regulars coming? Like, what did you? How, how did you do it? Okay, my first move, my first idea was like, okay, I wanna, I need to make money to survive, right? right? But then I realized that in order to make money, you need to have a good product, right? So that's how I start everything. You know, it took me a little bit to build everything, but how many pizzas do you make in a day? We don't do a lot because the space is too small. We do about like seventy to hundred pies so a day. That's a lot of pie. pizza. Yeah. I that's mean, it's a small shop, so... Yeah. And how do you usually get your word out about it? Is it just from Yelp, or is it like, just people like talking to one another? Or walking... Because we mentioned your name to uh, a guy, uh, Mike, at Tony Bologna's, you know? Tony Bologna's? In New Jersey. Yeah, 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 And he yeah. knew just of your place. Like, your name okay. is out there. Like, a lot of these pizzerias okay, do know I mean, who that, you are. That's, that's good, you know? We work so hard, me and my team. And, uh, you know, we try to spread the word. We couldn't do so much because right. the place is small, so... We do our best. Well, you know, I have three million people here, so maybe they'll come check you out. Don't come at the same time. It's going to be a problem. <laughs> Give me some time. Give us some time. Let's schedule it in. <laughs> Anyways, man, I really appreciate it. What was your name again? Massimo. Massimo. Thank you, guys. Massimo Experimento. Experimento. <laughs> right on. Ciao. Thank you. <laughs> so this find right here is an actual find at a little hole in the wall. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash the thumbs up button. As always, join the Taylor family by hitting the subscribe button, turn on post notifications so you never miss a post. Pick up some brand new merch, brandontaylor.com. And until next time, I'm gonna enjoy this pizza. Peace out. Make sure you guys check out yesterday's video and also make sure you hit that subscribe button right now and turn on post notifications so you never miss a post. Follow me on my other social medias and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.